This video is sponsored by the Pokemon TCG deck building website PokemonCard.io. Are you looking for sealed product and singles? You can find it all on Channel Fireball. Please use my Teomon affiliate code when checking out to help support my content. Looking for PTGO codes? Photon Store has all the latest sets and promos instantly delivered to your email. You can use Tailmon code when checking out for 5% off. If you're from Europe, Millipods Gaming has a wide array of sealed products, singles and more. You can use Tailmon code when checking out for 5% off. Card Market is Europe's largest online marketplace for Pokemon cards. Whether you're looking for sealed product or singles, vintage or the latest sets, just follow the link in the description to find what you need. Want to show off your love for Tailmon? Check out my 2021 merch. These new hoodies and shirts are available on Amazon. Click on the link in the description to get you. Hello everyone and welcome to the last key of 50 keys, 50 decks. What a journey it has been. Uh, my skill has been put into question. My mental stability has been put into question. My attitude, my everything has been put into question. And I understand plenty of things. I feel like a lot of people are unnecessarily um, like, their comments don't add anything of value to the channel and they're just like, they see me that I'm feeling down and then they just, it's like they step on you, right? But anyways, um, before I started the challenge, I had this idea of making a community-based deck, right? So I made this tweet over at Tailmon. I'm missing one deck for a 50 keys, 50 decks challenge. I will play the most liked deck list that is applied to this tweet. No questions asked. Mistake. You can suggest any deck, even top tier ones, just assume I've already selected every meta deck so far. Me my way, right? And so I figured people would post like cool, interesting combos, but then like this got posted and this was the most liked deck. <laughs> A deck that doesn't even make sense with Tyranitar and Electrode, which Electrode can power up Tyranitar. So, I mean, if I wasn't 100% sure that I'm in, I would have considered not playing the deck uh, because I feel like I assumed to me that it was common sense that like I expected to at least be able to play you know but instead I'm just gonna be a buy <laughs> to someone uh, because this deck like it doesn't even make sense right and the guy then posted like an adapted deck list which includes one electrode that can move energy around but it's like it just it doesn't make sense it generally does not make sense and so i'm just gonna be here um, watching my opponent play uh, i'm just gonna be here watching my opponent play and just completely losing right because yeah it's just not gonna happen <laughs> it's just not gonna happen um but yeah 50 keys 50 decks what a journey it has been um I feel like in this one, like, there were some things that were worse than last time, and there were some things that I did better than last time. Um, 100% my attitude and my um, approach, right, should be put into question, right? In many instances, I recognize that I was being very toxic, I was being uh, not a very nice person overall and it's no excuse right and like this one person especially like he put into question my passion right it's like you know nothing about me so don't ever question like why i do what i do right if you don't enjoy my i do what i do because whether i need to or i enjoy it or whatever combination of reasons that i personally have to do it and i will continue to do it right if you don't like what you see, what are you doing watching my videos? Like this person, like I've now hidden them from the channel because it got to a, an unnecessary um, silly stage where um, I don't need to read his crap every day. And like he watches every single video and he would post something negative in every single video, right? And like I understand like I'm making mistakes, right? I would love to see anyone play 50 decks perfectly without making mistakes, right? Just like trying to remember every possible play in every scenario for 50 different decks, right? Like, <laughs> but anyways, um, this person notwithstanding, like I recognize there's plenty that I can do better, right? I absolutely can recognize that part. Um, 
I don't know what else to say, right? Um, I got less points this time around, I expect to get more, but I'm generally very surprised that I managed to qualify um, by... I managed to qualify by... Um, after I started with 6 rep out of uh, nine, 9 keys, right? In the first 9 keys I was able to accumulate 6 rep. So the fact that I did manage to qualify in Latin America, right? I definitely am not able to qualify yet, right? Um, but yeah! So as you can see, this deck is just like not very good. <laughs> so I'm just here uh, sort of recapping. I'll do a, a better recap tomorrow. Tomorrow is actually my birthday, um, which is cool, I guess. So I'll be making a, a more thorough recap video on my thoughts about the, the Players' Cup and 50 keys, 50 decks. Um, I'm pretty happy that I managed to, to qualify. And shout out to the guy that um, that also said like that I was choosing to do 50 keys 50 decks to hide the fact that I was not confident enough to um, to qualify right so this would have been my excuse my excuse to say oh I didn't qualify because I used 50 decks right rather than trying to qualify normally Wait. Yeah, rather than trying to qualify normally, apparently I was scared to do that, right? It's like... <laughs> like, that stuff just makes no sense to me. Um, like, I understand if you don't know, like, my history of Pokemon, right? And who I am. I completely understand that. But... What? <laughs> like... I'm making it harder for myself to have that as an excuse to not qualify like what <laughs> that makes no sense but then i've been that decent player for the last 20 years so no it's actually to um challenge myself right it's it's so easy for me to qualify right 82 points with 50 different decks, including 49 different decks, because this one doesn't even count, right? This is a, a video log, <laughs> more than anything. Um, so 50, 49 different decks, right? Um, and I made it in Latin America, right? I wouldn't have made it in North America. That is true. That is the toughest region. Um, what I might do next time what I might actually do for the next player's cup is um, is to play 50 keys 25 decks. <laughs> I think that's gonna be a little more reasonable overall. Um, I think it's gonna be a little more reasonable overall. Um, a little more competitive, a little less pressure as well for me to choose so many different decks and also um, yeah like just in general you know <laughs> I'm just clicking on cards dude it doesn't actually matter um, so yeah as I was saying um, 50 keys 25 decks might be the future I'll do a better recap tomorrow um, but yeah this was the deck that won, like, when I saw it, I almost discarded it. Um, I did say no questions asked. If I do this next time, I will definitely set some ground rules because this was just dumb. And I was I was honestly very sad that people liked the tweet. It's like... <laughs> quality content? Really? Like, what? <laughs> I don't understand. But anyways, that closes out our 50 keys. 50 decks, 82 rep. Um, if things hadn't gone so badly in the beginning, like if instead of six rep out of nine keys, we would have had like, we had maintained the average of like 1.3, 1 1.4, 1, no, actually that's more than 1.5 points per key, right? 
So if I had kept the average of 1.5 points per key, wait, no. I have 82 rep. So if we disregard the first 10, I don't know. Anyways, I could have actually managed more points. I honestly expected to manage more points because there were less meme decks this time around. With the new set, like with Victini variants and Urshifu variants, there were a lot less meme decks. Um, but things just didn't go well. <laughs> For the most part, things just didn't go well in the beginning. And then a ton of mistakes were made because once again, props to whoever can play 50 decks perfectly within a time frame of a month um, along with doing everything else right if I could just dedicate myself to only playing then fine but then recording editing coaching and like just my life in general you know <laughs> so anyway I, I like I hate that I have to justify myself and it's I understand that it's very few people but these few people really got on my nerves this time around um, it's like they literally add nothing. So I hope these people never come back to my channel. I've already muted them or hidden them from my channel. They never come back. I hope they get the hint when they don't see their messages popping up. Um, especially the Thomas New Game guy. Like I don't mind uh, calling him out. He was the most, the worst one of them all. Uh, but anyways, thanks so much for tuning in uh, to this 10 minute rant whilst we watched our opponent play. And I'll see you tomorrow for my birthday recap video of 50 keys, 50 decks.